Hello and welcome to video number five. In this specific video, we're going to be setting up your product onto DigiResults. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we can set things up onto DigiResults, what you need to do is to get your live URLs of your sales page, your affiliates page, and your thank you page. And we can always update these pages later on, but for now, you're going to need to have the live URL. At this point, I can go on to digitresults.com. And at the very top here, click on Manage, click on Listings, and click on Create New Listing here. So what you need is, of course, your product listing name, which is basically your product name. So in this case, let's say that we're going to call this just something generic. We'll just call it product X, Y, Z. The category will be, we'll just say e, e business and e-marketing. Then you're going to put the description a short description about your product for example what it is the benefits of the product etc and when you're done simply click on create listing and like I said earlier with DigiResults.com it's actually very very easy to create so as you can see here we have a checklist We've set up the listing name and the category. Now we can enter the sales page. So we click on this. So you need to include the support email and the sales page. So remember the live page URL. This is our sales page here. So enter your support email here. So just support at your domain.com enter the sales page link here, click on update product. You can also use a hosted sales page, but in this case, we're gonna provide the live site here. Click on update product. And then we're going to set a price for the default variance or price point of the product XYZ. We'll leave this as default. Uh, let's say that we're going to have a front end product that is seven dollars so it's going to be a single payment type and we're gonna put seven dollars over here is the commission and we're gonna say 50 percent commission and remember with single one-time offer products you can do a second tier commission the only thing to remember is that if you have a recurring product that, let's say the one-time offer is a recurring product, you can't actually do a second tier commission. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it blank. The thank you page, of course, is going to be this page here. So I'm going to enter this here, click on update variant, and there we go. So with digital results, I have successively created a product listing. The product is not published yet. In order for me to publish it to the public, I need to click on this button. But as I scroll down, you'll notice that you can add the OTO and you can add a backend product. Adding an OTO and a backend product, as I showed you earlier, is the same as adding a product. So if I click on add OTO, You'll notice here it asks you for the, the name, the product name, the sort port email, the sales page, and so forth. So you'll pretty much go through the exact same steps. But in this case, we're going to be using the basic sales funnel. So we're going to leave it as it is. And of course, down here, you can edit the squeeze page opt-in tracking. If you want to do some tracking, you can do that. In this case, we're going to leave that blank and you have other settings to edit the affiliate page here so if you click on edit here we can actually add the affiliates page so grab the link here put that here click
click on update listing for that specific product and we've added the affiliate program there. You can also delete the product here if you want to do that in the future. And some advanced options, if you click on the product itself, and as you can see here, you have direct receipts. As you can see, it's for advanced scripts. And we're not really gonna do this. Equity partners, if you have business partners that you need to give commissions to each and every sale to, you can edit that here. And in order for this to work, you'll need to get their partner account ID and enter the percentage of vendor earnings. You can edit the upsell settings and the bridging if you're selling on other affiliate networks and so forth. You can also add new variants as well here. And another thing I want to show you is if you go back here and you, let's say you edit this variant details and you make it a subscription, you'll notice here that it says it is required that you give them a $1 per week trial for the first week, then pay the full price every month after that. So if you set this up like this, somebody comes to your site, they're going to automatically get a dollar trial for one week, and then they're going to pay this price here afterwards. So congratulations, you have set up your product onto the DigiResults site. It's not published yet. But what we're going to do now in the next video is to grab the button code and we're going to add that to the sales page and upload that to make sure that it works. And until everything is done, you do not want to click the start selling button. So with that said, let's go to the next video and I'm going to show you how to uh, finalize everything so that you can get everything up and running and complete it.